Uh, my name is Michelle Steffes and I'm a writer-director. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I was an assistant for uh, the writer-director Gary Ross at his company, Universal Studios, and his wife, Allison Thomas. Um, and then I moved up to be a development executive at the company. And then I left and I've been doing freelance work and consulting work um, and making my own short films and writing screenplays. What I love about screenwriting is being the first person to create what you're seeing. The, the originator of the idea, the originator of the story. If you're adapting something from a novel, which is something that I'm doing right now, you are deciding what is the story that is being told on screen as opposed to what is the story that was told in the book. And what I love about directing is you're the final say in what is showing up on screen. You're deciding what camera angles are being used, how the pace works, what music is being used, uh, what the overall feel of the story is. And sometimes you're shaping the story even differently than the screenplay is. What I've ended up doing has been more directing some things that I haven't written and then writing things that are not for me to direct. Um, but what I would love to be doing is writing things for me to direct. Someday that will be the case. A major inspiration that I had was Bo Thorpe. She uh, was the artistic director of the Cape Fear Regional Theater, which was the community theater in my hometown of Fayetteville, North Carolina. She moved to Fayetteville in 1960, and she realized that there wasn't much of a cultural scene. Fayetteville is a relatively big town in North Carolina, but it is um, it has a, a large transient population because it's connected with Fort Bragg, which is a large military base, and so a lot of people are coming in and out. Um, and she really felt that there was a need for a community theater, so she founded, when I was little, it was called the Little Theater, and then when I was older, it's, it's now called the Cape Fear Regional Theater. Uh, and she founded that and became the artistic director for 50 years until she retired in 2011, I believe. My understanding of what an artistic director at a theater does, which is not a job that I've ever held, is to uh, decide the, the direction of the theater, picking shows, choosing uh, the directors if you're not directing yourself, and often directing the shows yourself. I think that Bo Thorpe directed many of the plays, if not almost all of them, um, and she was wonderful. I've never seen a play there that I didn't love. It was still the first time that I ever saw a woman standing up and having this creative vision and getting all these people on board for it. And I think that it instilled the idea in me that a woman can do that, which, I mean, I didn't realize until much later that women are not given the same opportunity to do that as men are in, in theater or in film. Um, and so I think that she was inspiring to me because from the very first time I thought of that as a career, I saw a woman in that role. The first play that I was ever in that wasn't a uh, you know Christmas pageant at the church was Big River, which was at Cape Fear Regional Theater. My dad asked my brother and I if we'd be interested in going down to audition. Um, and because there wasn't a real role for children, like Huck Finn was played by an adult, um, and all his friends were played by adults, but there was they were putting in school children in the town scene, so we would be part of group songs. Um, and I said that I would, and it was, it was terrifying. But um, my brother and I got in along with my dad, and it was such, it was such a fun experience, being in this wonderful play um, with this wonderful director. I remember Bo coming in one day and saying, there was a scene where the whole townspeople were lecturing Huck Finn about how he needs to like study his Bible and do his lessons, and she had the kids like doing this at the front of the stage, pacing back and forth and saying like, read your Bible, Huck, do your lessons, Huck, in the song. And so she said, I had a dream last night that Grady came in and does a knee slide across the stage and I wanna try it out and see if it works. And I think we didn't end up doing it, I don't think it was in the play, but I was so struck by the idea of someone having a job where you can have a literal dream at night and then come to work the next day and see if you can have your dream literally come true on the stage. It just seemed like the most amazing thing to do with your life. Um, and I think that I, that experience has really stayed with me because it was such a pure experience of creativity and fun. I did go and see a lot of her plays, so I think that her creative work influenced me because I, when I, I mean, when I lived in Fayetteville as a, as a kid and as a teenager, 
I basically saw it. I mean, if, they, if it was playing at CFRT, I would go and see it. Um, and I do still go when I'm home if I can. Uh, the last time I saw her, she had retired from being the artistic director and she starred in On Golden Pond, which was playing at CFRT and she played the Katherine Hepburn character. I had never seen her act before um, and she was delightful. Uh, so I think she's had an influence on me because so much of what I was exposed to as creative expression as a, as a kid and as a teenager were her plays. I think something that I learned from Bo Thorpe was um, about the courage to create something out of nothing. She created a theater, she founded a theater that was not there before because she saw a need for it. I think that that's um, difficult to do and it's necessary, especially for female filmmakers. Sometimes it's hard to walk into an industry where there aren't as many role models as you might like to see um, and where you have to create a lot of your own opportunities. I think that it's inspiring to see someone do that, to walk into a place and found a company that would give her opportunities to be creative. If I were having a conversation with Bo today, I think what I would be interested in asking her would be about her experience directing um, so many plays over the course of 50 years at a theater. What has she learned? What did she enjoy about it? Uh, what did she find challenging? How did she keep her creative spirit fresh at the same place for so long? Um, what advice would she pass on? I'd like to know what she's most proud of. I think the fact that Bo Thorpe, who was the first director I ever met, the first director that I ever worked with, was a female, was important to me without me realizing it at the time. At the time, it just felt like, this is a director. You know, I didn't attach that, this is a lady director, onto it. And I think that that was uh, really good for me. I had always wanted to be a writer ever since I was a kid, and I still write and I still want to write. But I think that I may not have seen directing as a real possibility for myself if I hadn't had um, Bo Thorpe when I was 10 years old having a dream and putting it on the stage. Maybe this is my bias because CFRT was so important to me growing up, um, but to me the center of the cultural landscape in Fayetteville is, is that theater. And so I think that it's relevant to have a woman at the center of it. I would hope that that would have influenced people around her to see women as um, artists and to see them as change makers. And I think that that's um, important for any community to see. If I had to guess what Bo Thorpe would tell me if I asked her for advice, I would say that um, she would probably say to get out there and make stuff. Just do it. If you see an absence, make it. If you want to do it, then get out there and create. And don't wait for someone else to hand you an opportunity. If I had to give a piece of advice to women who were just starting out in the film industry, I would say to Learn everything you can. Know that it's gonna be difficult. Know that the opportunities might not be there for you and that you may have to create the opportunities yourself. And to focus on your art, to get as good as you can possibly get so that the work can speak for you.